sh <laughs> this one's like very pretty and smoky as whereas this one is like BAM you know you know what I'm saying hi friends and welcome back to my channel if you're new here and you've never seen my face before hi hello my name is Joanne and I'm really glad that you're here okay today's video is another video that I did not intend to film today <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be a ongoing trend here on my channel. I keep buying things and then they come in the mail and then I'm forced to move whatever video I was going to film down the line a little ways to film this video. Anyway, I got a package in the mail. Yeah, I got a package in the mail. Yeah, I got a package in the mail. What is this package you may be asking? Well, let's open it up. It's the new Midas Cosmetics Perception Palette. Ooh, ooh. The Midas Cosmetics Perception Palette is their collab that they did with the Basic B. Isn't she pretty? The box came very well packaged. It's got some tissue paper and bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. <laughs> and then the palette itself is also bubble wrapped. I can always appreciate good packaging as far as like shipments are concerned. It's got very sleek black matte packaging, but just wait. <gasps> Oh, just wait. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's so bright. It's so colorful. Oh my gosh. I can now officially say that this is the brightest, most colorful eyeshadow palette I have in my collection. <laughs> the Barbie palette is pretty colorful, but this one has a lot of these like extremely bright, like neon shades in it. So, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to swatch these. This color Psyche, oh my god, okay, all right, it's okay, it's okay. I'm going to do some swatches with this palette, and then also, I was thinking that a fun way to kind of dip into this palette and experiment with it a little bit would be to do a palette bingo with it. I inputted all of the shade names into the wheel, and we'll spin the wheel to see what shades we should use for today's look. So this palette does have 20 shades in it. I'm not going to swatch all 20 of the shades. I'm going to swatch the ones that are like really calling out to me. So the first shade I really, really, really want to dip into is called Quantum. Quantum. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Do you see that? The next shade, Psyche next to it. These are just so beautiful. Psyche. That one's more of a purple to green. Oh my god. It's beautiful. This green shimmer called Motive. Motive. Wow. Just wow. I really want to swatch this shade called Evolve, this like bright hot pink shade. Evolve. It's like so bright. A little powdery, a little patchy, but we'll see how it applies on the eyes. But right there, it's so, so bright. This pink purple called Fusion. And I want to go in with this lime green shade called Open Mind. Okay. I am beyond excited to dip into this palette, but first I also want to talk about the second item that I was kind of curious about I want to try out in today's video. It's not from Midas Cosmetics. It's completely unrelated to that, but I was walking through Ulta the other day and I found aqua lashes. <laughs> And it caught my attention. So uh, I thought we would play with these today as well. There are no instructions. I have no idea what to do with them. I Googled it. It just says to dip it in water. It doesn't say for how long and then apply. So nothing can possibly go wrong. Okay, so the shades that we got for our palette bingo are the first shade in our palette bingo we got is called Evolve. And that is this bright pink shade that I swatched earlier. I'm really hoping this look turns out because I actually do have somewhere to be today. I know that's surprising, but <laughs> the second shade is this maroon shade called Infinite. Okay. It's like a red berry shade. So we're going to be working with that today too. 
The third shade that we got is called Perplex, which is this aqua blue shade. Oh God, oh God. Okay, please, please, please give me a shimmer. Okay, and the final shade is called Deep Space, and it is this shimmery berry maroon color. Okay. Ooh, that one's really, really pretty. Okay. For the sake of reviewing this palette, I'm going to prime one of my eyelids with my Believe Beauty eyeshadow primer, and then I'm going to leave the other lid bare. The first shade I'm going in with is called Evolve, and I'm just going to put that here in my creasy area. This is the eye with no primer on, and you can tell, whoa, whoops. You can tell it's a little less pigmented than the other eye was. So far, the formula is very, very powdery. You can tell I've dipped into it quite a bit and it's getting all over the other shades. So far, the side that I primed looks 10 times better than the side I did not prime. And it's very dark and patchy here on this side. Hmm. Okay, that is the first shade on. This is the eye with eyeshadow primer on. This is the eye with no eyeshadow primer on. And you can tell the drastic difference. So, moving on to the second shade we got, which is called Infinite. I'm just going to go slightly lower on the lid with the infinite shade to create a little gradient. This shade really makes my green eyes pop out of my head. I'm going back in with Evolve here just to kind of darken it up. It got a little lost. It's doing this weird patchy thing on this side of my eye. With a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer, I'm going on just here in the center of my eye for the next shade, which is called Deep Space. Going in with my finger, taking Deep Space and just dabbing it. Oh, that's beautiful. Kind of what I suspected. I suspected that the shimmer shades would probably be like out of this world great. And then the matte shades, like on this eye, it's perfect. It's beautiful. This eye, I don't know what this eye is doing. <laughs> <laughs> but there is deep space using glitter glue. I love this eye. This eye is amazing. <laughs> okay, also going on with my finger with no glitter glue. Deep space here on this second eye. It's still beautiful, but you get more bang for your buck using the glitter glue as I suspected. But it's still such a beautiful shade. See how intense the difference is? I love this eye so, so much. <laughs> this eye is not, oh, it's just patchy. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what you're doing, eye. They look like two totally different makeup looks. I'm not terrible, like I'm not mad at it. I just don't know what this patchy thing is. So my verdict is get yourself an eyeshadow primer. <laughs> Okay, I'm quickly going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I did my makeup, okay. We have one more shade left and that is the shade called Perplex. And I'm going right along my bottom lash line. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the deep space shade and just kind of give it a little bit of shimmer on the bottom. 
Okay, and you can stop here, and normally I would. I've got my mascara on. If you're ever curious about anything that I'm ever wearing on my face, I always list everything down in the description box for you so you never have to worry or wonder what I'm using. But this is the completed eye look. I am going to go in with the eyelashes in just a minute, so you can stick around for that part if you'd like. But as you can see, there is a very clear difference in using eyeshadow primer and not using eyeshadow primer. Now, if you wanted a more diffused, natural, like I can blend it out, smoke it out type of look, then yeah, you're fine without the eyeshadow primer. But if you want the biggest bang for your buck as far as like color payout, use the eyeshadow primer and the glitter primer if you have one. I think the shades are beautiful, especially these shimmers. <sighs> I love them so much but I am going to play around with it a little bit more. I just wanted to give you my first impressions of it, let you know what I thought about it. This is my first Midas Cosmetics like actual eyeshadow palette. I have the Cake Liner palette, but this is the first eyeshadow palette that I own from them, and I think they did great. You do have to fiddle with them a little bit more. It might not be like the best beginner-friendly eyeshadow palette out there, but I do think it's beautiful. I think that the Basic B did an amazing job with this collaboration. I love her thought process behind all the names. I think the shades are beautiful and the shimmers are gorgeous. So she did an amazing job and I'm super, super proud of her. But yes, this is the Perception Eyeshadow Palette from Midas Cosmetics. Let's move on to these dang aquatic lashes. <laughs> Again, I have absolutely no instructions for them. It says they are patent pending. No adhesive needed, dip and apply. Water activated lash band. Why do I feel like this could go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong? All right, first, they're very stiff. Very, very stiff. The band is very thick, so if you like the clear band, these are not for you, honey, nuh -uh. I'm going to cut them down to my eye shape. I've got kind of little eyes, so I'm just gonna trimmy trim. And I don't like my lashes to go all the way in. I like a half lash. You can kind of tell the lashes get longer on this end, shorter on this end. So I know that that's going to be my left eye. Maybe one more little trim here. Again, no idea how long to leave this on for. So I've got my little cup of water. And I'm going to dip And I, 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 I don't know. Do I let it dry a little bit? Like, do I let it, you know, like lash glue, how you kind of let it dry for a little bit? Okay. I'm just... <sighs> Hold on. I personally prefer a clear lash band just so I don't have to put any liner on or anything, but that actually just stuck to my eyelash. I'm trying to get the middle part to adhere. I think that this would just take a little bit of um, experimentation, but I think these would work really, really well. The only issue is I don't know how many times you can use these lashes before you've got to actually apply lash glue to them. I'm gonna dip the second pair here. If anybody has used these aqua lashes and you have any thoughts or opinions on them, let me know down below, because I'm really curious. Okay, and this is the completed look using the Midas Cosmetics Perception Palette in collaboration with the Basic B and these really weird Ardell aqua lashes. <laughs> <laughs> Today's takeaways are use an eyeshadow primer and a glitter primer if you have one available. And also let me know down below if you've ever used these really weird aqua lashes before because I'm very confused about how I feel about them. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!